All right, everybody, now's the time to create our surface from the point cloud we've imported into Civil 3D. So you can see I've got my point cloud uh, available there, and uh, now I'm simply going to just create a surface from that point cloud uh, by going to my home button or sorry my home tab on my ribbon and under the surfaces section we're gonna select uh, create surface from point clouds go ahead and click that and uh, it'll ask you to select a surface so you have to move your mouse around until you can find the uh, boundary edges select it and it'll take you through a wizard so you can uh, give your uh, project or your surface new name select a style if you like and uh, just run through the wizard here also if you don't want to include the entire section you can go ahead and uh, filter out some point cloud data by drawing windows or selecting uh, multiple point clouds if you brought in multiple point clouds using this button here um, the other thing you can do if you need to uh, if you want to kind of weed out some of the points what you can do is set a spacing so this will be uh, in your drawing units and uh, that will filter out points it'll tell you the percentage of points that uh, it's bringing in and uh, the higher number the higher the percentage so you can filter out points quickly and easily that way uh, select next if you have a fuller surface something like I'm seeing here then you can go ahead and add in one of the filtering methods uh, by specifying a, a different uh, method here um, if it's a bare earth surface then you should just go no filter and uh, just for speed I'm going to select no filter and then I'm going to go create surface and what will happen is that your surface will be processed in the background you'll see a little cloud back here and we'll just wait for that surface to finish up and a pop-up comes up and says that the surface has been created successfully and uh, it gives me some warnings here so it's just telling me there was a few duplicate points which it's removed and that's uh, that's fine with me and you can check out in the prospector tab uh, under the surfaces section you can uh, check out your surface and then go ahead and uh, check out some surface properties and go into the statistics and uh, find things about the uh, number of points that were used, how many triangles, surface area, that kind of stuff. So uh, you can determine some information there. Now once you've built your surface you probably don't need your point cloud anymore so you can detach the point cloud. What you should do first though is uh, create a snapshot of your surface. So if you right click on the surface name uh, select create snapshot and that way we can safely now detach the point cloud and uh, that surface will um, still remain intact and we can still add data or edit it from here on in but uh, it will save that uh, point cloud information and if you move your mouse around so you can select that point cloud uh, highlight the box go ahead and select it and on the contextual menu you can go to the external reference button and uh, there's the point cloud there you can detach it now uh, if you like and your surface still will remain intact so uh, there's my surface data and I can uh, from here on in go in and edit any bad points like this large point here uh, don't forget to save your drawing on the way out and that's how you create a surface uh, in Sybil 3D thank you bye now.